Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com, and in this video, we're going to be looking at a product called Doodle Maker by Paul Pana. So this is my website. You'll find the link for it directly under this video, and it's going to go over all the details about Doodle Maker, including the upsells, the pricing, and some bonuses you can get if you happen to buy it from my website. Now you can see here it launches in six days, so I am making this video early so you guys can get advance notice about it. Uh, you can also sign up for a live webinar right here. Uh, and you can take a chance at winning one of the 20 free copies they're going to be giving out as well as some cash prizes they're going to be giving out. Okay, let's jump into the app. So basically what Doodle Maker is, is a whiteboard, glass board, or a blackboard um, video creator tool that allows you to either edit existing templates they have or to start from scratch and make your own. And so what I'm going to do is take you in here and show you exactly how these videos work and how you can make your own really fast using the tools provided in Doodle Maker. So this is the dashboard and there's a welcome video I highly recommend you watch. You can also come down here and watch the video tutorials, get a hold of their support and join Paul Pana's Inner Circle Facebook group right here, which is a pretty active group. So over here on the left hand column is where you're going to find all the tools you use uh, with Doodle Maker. So depending on any of the upsells you purchase, you may or may not have access to them, such as the white label version, the tune video, or the client engine. But for the front end product, it is a one-time price. And so you can get that, I know during launch, I'm thinking for $47, maybe less, depending on uh, whether they run promos on that or not. Uh, but it gives you lifetime access to use this tool. So what we're gonna do is start up here and click on create project. And right off, you've got three choices. You can either use an existing template or video that they've created and edit it and customize it to fit you or your client. You can start from scratch from a complete whiteboard, glass board, or a blackboard. Or you can use this tool here, which allows you to translate your old videos with voice into different languages using text-to-speech and AI. So let's go ahead and jump into one of the ready-made templates. And what you can do here is search for a video if you already know the name of it. You can choose whether you want it to be whiteboard, glassboard, or blackboard, and whether you want it to be a male or female who's doing the voice over. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, actually I'll scroll down through here and let you look at some of these. So these are local based videos. So if you do any kind of local uh, marketing for yourself, or if you have clients in a local marketing, this may be a good opportunity for you to either create videos for them or to even sell these videos yourself because this does come with commercial rights so you can do that. So what we'll do is just scroll down to uh, one of the more popular topics, which is the uh, locksmith. And so you can preview the videos by clicking on watch preview. If you're looking for a reliable, professional and affordable locksmith, well, you've come to the right place. Okay, so let's say we, would ju we just want to use this video. What we would do is click on choose. And it brings us to the video editor. Now up here at the top, we can add new slides to this video, or we can edit each one of the slides one by one. And we can see this video has four slides. So this here is the video, and then below it, you're gonna see the script that is red. And if we come over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna see the voice. Now, this is the voice that is currently set up for this template. So if you hit play, if you're looking for a reliable perfect, you can hear it. You can upload a different voice file. So if you wanna use one of your own, you can record your own voice, or you can use TTS voice um, and use um, a text-to-speech voice, which will automatically read it from one of these options here. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on this option. And then if we come down here, this is the video. So we can click on these elements, we can move them around and we can do different things with them. Okay, so we can edit the text, we can change the font uh, type, the font size and what it reads. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. And you can also adjust the time, the timing settings over here and whether you want them to be uh, displayed or not, whether you want it to be hit or not. And you can do that with each one of these on here. Now down here on the right hand side, you have a lot of other options. So if we click on language, it's going to allow you to change uh, the language from English to any of these other languages that you see here. Then you can update it. We're going to keep it in English. There is a library. so. With library, you're gonna be able to choose from all the images. 
uh, that you want added to your slide. So we can choose from icons that are already available here. You can either have all of them shown or you can choose by whether or not they're just the black or whether they are uh, colored icons. And then we have the icon finder which will allow you to do a search for other icons, different assets, shapes, characters. Uh, you can see all the characters in here. Or if we do ones that are colored, you can see all of those. You can upload your own, which is what I do sometimes when I make mine, such as the landscaping video that I created before this. I basically just um, had a couple images here that I used. You upload them, and that's what it uses for an image. You can drag it, resize it, put it in the background. So if I go up here and click plus, it adds it. You can move it around. You can resize it to whatever size you want it to. You can send them backwards, send them forward, adjust the transparency. Um, around the edges of it which is a new feature which is a really cool feature that you don't see many of these tools it has um, you can also do a transition and then the speed of the transition so right now I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this element and then the same thing works for all the elements that's already in the video you can just choose it you can change the colors of it um, whether you want it uh, to be brought forward to overlap the images that's on top or underneath um, transition fade in slide in all those are available here so you can completely customize it to the way you or your client wants it. Now once you do that you can come over here to text and text allows you to add additional text for your slide so if you want this changed or if you want to add any additional text for the slide you can do that too. You can add hands, you can add a soundtrack and the soundtracks can be added to individual slides if you want them to be. You just choose this and you can select one, play, you can hear it and then add it. So let's just go ahead and click update. So we add that to this one. You got backgrounds. You can have a white background, black, glass background, custom, or you can use an image. You go ahead and close these notifications here. And then let's go back. You also have watermark that you can add to it. So you would just upload your watermark here, change the opacity of it, move it where you want it. And then your settings, which just allows you to adjust the title of your video. So once you have the video the way you want to and you go through each slide, you edit it the way you want to, um, what you would do is come up here and click save. You can also preview it. So if we preview it right now. If you're looking for a reliable, professional, and affordable locksmith, well... You can also turn down the soundtrack volume or make it louder here as well as the voice volume. And then when you're done, you simply click on create video. Choose whether you want 720 or 1080. Click create and it's done. Now let's go back to create a project. You can do a start from scratch and this is exactly what it does. It starts from scratch. Now what you can also do is right here it says I have a voiceover file or I do not want to write my script. So we can tick this and what it's going to do is allow you to add your voiceover file to use it and if you don't want to use a script you don't have to. Otherwise you're going to add um, all the text you want read right here. So this will be for slide one and then you can do a slide two, a slide three or how many other slides you want in the video. Um, copy or paste your text in here for each slide or type them out. Then you can choose your soundtrack, your language, the type of background, type of icon, the hand style and basically gives you complete control as you go through it step by step just as you would as editing one of the pre-made templates. And lastly is a really cool tool called the AI Video Translation Engine. So if we go ahead and click this, we can give this project a title. I'm just going to call it Locksmith. And I'm not going to choose that I have a voiceover file. But what I'm going to do is put in the URL of a YouTube video. And then over here on the right hand side, I'm going to choose the language. Let's say this video here is it's in English. So let me go ahead and open it up for you. If you're looking for a reliable Okay, so you can see this is in English. And if we go back here and choose get YouTube video, it's going to import the text from this video. And then what we can do is come over here and we can choose a soundtrack if we want one, and then the language we want it converted to. So, let's say we want it to be read in French instead of English. So, we can do that and we can choose type of blackboard and make those changes, choose save. And it's going to open up the new project. It's going to automatically kind of create this stuff for us here, which we can edit or do whatever we want to with. And then down here, you're going to see at the bottom, it has the, the French translation of the English. 
So this is the French version. So if we go up here and you can see here French female, if we click on preview, we can listen to it. Si vous recherchez un serrurier professionnel, fiable et abordable, vous êtes au bon endroit. Nous sommes fiers d'être le meilleur serpent. Okay. So that's what the translation does. It allows you to translate your videos into another language. And what's great about this is this video that I picked for this, it's not even my video. It's a video that I got. Uh, I searched locksmith in uh, uh, Tucson, Arizona. This video came up. I just copied the link, pasted it in here, got the text from it, and then I can translate it into other languages and use it for my videos that I create. There are a lot of possibilities with Doodle Maker and what you can do with it for yourself. If you do any kind of online marketing, affiliate marketing, creating videos for yourself, or if you have clients and local clients, this is ideal for that. Uh, take some time to learn it. Take some time to learn how to edit it. So you can do your own thing with your videos, make them unique to yourself, and then you can really uh, make a business out of this if you want to. So for $47, lifetime access to this, I'm gonna highly recommend this product. Uh, it's gonna give you the opportunity to make and create all kinds of videos. And then if you invest in the other options, there's gonna be a white label option. If you do have a business where you want to resell videos and your own thing, this may be an option for you. It is expensive. I believe the white label version is gonna be $497, but it allows you to white label this product as your own and to sell it. So that may be something you wanna consider. There's also an upsell for Tune Video and Client Engine. You can find details about all three of these on my website here at vidsociety.com. That link will be under this video where you can learn more about it, the pricing, and also pick up the bonuses if you happen to purchase the Doodle Maker tool through my website. So that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.